What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number one of the Trailblazer series. Um, it hasn't released yet, but I did really quickly want to go through the relics and give you guys an idea of the ones I want to choose. I'm not 100% going with these. It's just my initial thought on which ones I want to go with. Tier 1, I'm going to be going with Endless Harvest. Uh, you guys can read through these if you want to. I'm just going to go through them really quickly. Uh, for Tier 2 with the Teleportation, I'm not really sure yet. I'm either going to be going with Eternal Jeweler or Last Recall. Uh, but right now, I am leaning towards going for Eternal Jeweler. Uh, on the Tier 3s, I think I'm going to go with Fluid Strikes as well. I don't really plan to do much bossing or range, so I think that one's going to be nicer for me uh, doing Slayer. Uh, tier 4 Utility, this one's pretty easy for me. I don't really care too much about Clue Scrolls, so I'm going to be going with a Natural Selection. Um, off the top of my head right now, I think I'm going to be probably camping next for 99 Slayer, uh, since those give a ton of seeds and also a lot of GP. Uh, then this one. This one was kind of hard. I actually am not... 100% sure with this one so far since all three of these are really good. Um, right now I'm leaning towards Infernal Gathering since that goes really good with the uh, Tier 1 Relic as well I'm going with. Um, if, to give you guys an example of that, if I were to go and mine a Silver Ore, uh, it would send two Silver Bars to my bank. So that's really crazy. It would give me full XP as well. Um, so that's definitely one I'm considering. Uh, and for the last one, once again, I'm not 100% sure. But for now, I think I'm probably going to be going with the third relic, Weapon Specialist. The special attack regeneration just seems really, really nice for uh, Slayer. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take to get through unlocking all of these, but just uh, really quickly wanted to show that to you guys. So I'll see you once it launches. So for this link, just like the last one, uh, those of you guys that watch my channel, you will know that it's my goal to pretty much max every Iron Man mode that comes out. Uh, I did end up maxing Twisted League, which was the first iteration of these leagues. Um, I think I was the seventh person to max. I'm not 100% sure. I will show that to you guys on the screen though. So per usual, it's going to be the same goal for me to try to max this league. I'm going to be putting all my relic focus on maxing. I don't really care too much about PVM or anything. So if you guys are planning to do PVM and stuff, it probably wouldn't follow the relic choices I'm making. Uh, also my overall plan is to try to rush tier six relics since that gives 16 times XP in every skill. Uh, so I'm not going to be going for any like 80s or 99s or anything early on. Um, I'm not going to be doing any of that until I have all the relics unlocked. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, first things first, I need to go into my relics and unlock the first one that I want to unlock and make sure I don't misclick the wrong one. Uh, so I am going to be going with Endless Harvest. That, so there is that unlocked. I don't think I'm going to be getting up here in time. Um, this is really freaking laggy, actually. I wanted to go up here and burn all of the logs on top of the castle, but I'm pretty sure people are going to be doing that already. Yeah, there's a ton of people doing it already. So uh, that's going to be a no-go. Um, so like I said, going into this, I really don't have any set plan. I'm just going to kind of figure things out as I go. This is, this is actually insane. I can't even find the uh, demand to pickpocket him. So uh, I guess I'll come back to doing that later. I'm going to go and claim my free things though uh, from the combat tutor first. The Iron Man armor is always super nice to start off with. Uh, you get pretty much uh, decent bonuses just straight off the bat. Uh, also another thing about this league that isn't like the last one is you have infinite run energy all the time. It's just a passive from picking your first relic. Uh, so you can pretty much run around with all your gear on all the time and not have to worry at all about that. Uh, like I said, I do want to get to doing some quests, but I think the first thing I want to do is just some agility since it'll be some easy points. Uh, thankfully, they already start you off at level 10, so I can go straight to doing the drainer course. Uh, I'm not going to be unlocking the desert, so I won't be able to do the al -Karid rooftop course. Uh, meaning I'm going to be doing level 10 to 30 here. Uh, level 30, I'm going to head over to Varrock, um, do the Stronghold of Security for my free money. And uh, I'll probably do a little bit more agility there. Uh, the XP rates right now, I believe, start off at five times. So this will be kind of quick. Uh, I really don't know the exact amount of time it's going to take. Because 10 to 30 here, um, even at five times, is probably still going to take a while. So level 20 agility took me a total of five minutes. And I've already completed seven total tasks just from doing agility. I honestly don't even know which these tasks are. They do pop up. I'm not really paying much attention to them. Um, but I am up to 70 total points already. It should probably take me like 10 or so more minutes to finish 30. There's level 30. It uh, ended up taking me 20 minutes total from level 10. Um, another thing I wanted to mention here is I was looking through the tasks, and if I actually do 30 laps on this course, I get 50 points. It's a medium task. Um, so I'm going to be doing 10 more laps here just to get that. Um, also, uh, <laughs> freaking Alkin, uh, like the video and then go watch his after. Um, I'm going to have to agree with him there. Also, if you guys are... Uh, watching my channel for the first time and you're interested in seeing more League videos, uh, don't forget to drop a subscription so you guys get notified as soon as I upload new videos. Uh, I am going to be trying to upload every single day for at least the first month. Um, it's going to be really hard, but I did it last league, and I think I can do it this one as well. All right, there's lap number 30. Uh, as you guys see, this is the pop-up I was talking about. So I got 15 more points from that, and I'm up to 170 now. 
Um, so before I head over and continue doing agility, there's actually a bunch of stuff I still have to do in Lumbridge. I was looking through the task list while I was doing that, and there's a lot of tasks from fishing, and also if I cut 100 willow logs, I get 50 points as well. So I'm going to be getting up to level 30 woodcutting right now, and once I hit 30, I'm going to be chopping 100 willows. Uh, it seems like there's not as many people running around now, so this should be a bit easier. Um, one thing that does suck, I don't know if they added, it looks like they haven't added more worlds yet, but every single world is full, so if you lag out or... Um, if you log out, you're really not going to be able to get back in. So thankfully, it's really quick. And once I get to Oaks, I can just sit at it. So I just have to run around cutting normal trees until I get to level 15. Uh, this is incredibly fast. I usually get 25 XP for cutting a normal tree. If you see right there, I got 250. Uh, since I did choose the first relic that I did, I get double um, the logs from wood cutting, And those also go into my bank instantly. And since it's already five times um, XP, since I get double, I'm actually getting 10x XP wood cutting right now. So let's see how much XP I get from actually cutting this oak tree. 375 XP per oak tree. Uh, so getting to 30 is uh, going to take no time at all. Uh, you know, actually thinking about it now, I just realized that I completely forgot to go and get a steel axe from Bob. Uh, it's going to definitely speed up my wood cutting. And of course, the steel axe costs 200 coins. Uh, so I'm really quickly going to go up to Varrock and do the stronghold of security so I can get, I think it's like 10, 10 to 15k. Uh, or somewhere around those lines, and then just teleport back to Lumbridge. Uh, I hope this isn't too confusing with you guys about jumping around. I try to keep these as concise as I can uh, between clips, but I did run all the way up here. I also got level 5 thieving off of the men in Lumbridge, uh, so I could thieve the uh, tea stall up here. I'll probably do this for a little bit just to get my thieving level up, and I also need these for running through the stronghold. 15 thieving seems like a, a decent level to stop at. It's not like Twisted Leagues. Uh, you got tasks for doing like every 20, 40, 60, and 80th level, so definitely be worth getting to 20 if we're in the other league, but sadly they took that out. So uh, next thing, I'm going to be doing the Vrock Museum. Uh, thinking about this museum quiz now, it might have been better to wait until I unlocked a second relic because that increases my XP rates from 5 to 8. Um, but overall, I honestly don't think the uh, little bit XP difference from that is really going to make too much of a difference. So I'm just going to complete it now. Uh, that's straight to level 20 Slayer and also level 20 Hunter. Okay, so I misunderstood one of the tasks here. It says complete 50 laps of a rooftop agility course, and then next to it says complete 50 laps of any rooftop agility course. Uh, for some reason, I had that in my mind as just do 50 in all of them combined. So like if I had 30 on the drainer one and I did 20 here, it would count as 50 total. Uh, but now a lot of people are saying it's do 50 on one course. Uh, so I did eight more rooftop laps on Varrock and get up to level 37. Um, but I'm going to have to go back and do 20 more laps at the drainer course to get that task done. Uh, but while I'm up here, I'm going to take out my T's and go complete the stronghold. So originally, I was just going to get the 10k and leave. I don't really care too much about getting the boots. Uh, but shout out to this guy right here. He let me know in chat that if you get the boots, it's actually uh, a task. Uh, so it's 10 points. Um, it's not really much about the points, I guess, because that's just another task completed, which gets me closer to unlocking another region. Uh, I did also get chanced. I almost died. I got hit a 7, and then I got hit a 6 and a 0. So that would have been pretty awkward. I don't have my 10k though, I'm going to head back to Lumbridge, get my steel axe from Bob, and then continue with woodcutting. So with these willows, since I need to cut 100 of them for the task, I'm hoping that uh, I only need to cut 50 since I chose the first relic that gives me double logs. I don't know if it works that way or not, but I guess we'll see. Ooh, there's some more nice points along the way. Uh, level 40 got me another 50 league points. Now that's the type of RNG I like to see. You got an exam, and I'm assuming that the rewards from these are also going to be 5 times XP. So this would definitely be wasted if I used it on a level 1 skill, so I'm just going to throw it into Slayer since it's already level 20. I uh, don't know how much XP it's going to give me. Uh, 1,500 XP, so 20 to 23 Slayer just off the RNG land. All right, the Relic did work for this. Cutting 50 of them and getting doubles actually gave me the League Points. I'm already getting really close to unlocking my next Relic. I'm going to be fire making, fletching a bunch of these in a second. It's actually another League task to burn 100 Willow Logs. But before I do any of that, though, I need to complete 20 more laps of the Drainer course. Well, uh, this is awkward. I just got the complete 50 laps challenge by doing 42 laps. That means the 8 laps I did at Varrock actually counted. So I was correct before. I could have done all those laps and gotten more XP. Uh, so for any of you guys that are starting leagues late, you now know that uh, you don't have to do all 50 laps here. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is probably fire making. I, I still have all the logs in my bank from when I did wood cutting, so it's going to be really quick. Assuming I didn't accidentally drop one of these willow logs, not paying attention, this should be 100. Uh, so it's 50 more points, and I'm super, super close to being able to unlock this next relic. Also, all those logs got me up to level 44 fire making. So there's another task to do with fletching here, and it's fletch a willow short bow. And that's going to be another 50 points. I actually don't even know what level that is. Uh, so I need to get to level 35 fletching to get those 50 points. I still have some uh, logs left over. 
Uh, but it's really not going to be enough to get me anywhere. So I'm just going to keep woodcutting. I actually wasn't even paying attention to this. I have enough points to unlock my next relic. Apparently this is like glitched right now though. So it seems they fixed this as well. There was like a bunch of glitches going on where people couldn't choose their second relic. I am going to go ahead and unlock one of these zero right now since it'll make my um, XP multiplier go from five times to eight times. Um, it's going to take a while though. I still need to figure out between these two. I'm going to look around and ask some people really quick because a lot of people are saying last recall is going to be good for um, rune crafting, but I don't really see how that's going to be the case if I don't have lunars unlocked uh, since that's the teleport you use to get to Oriana. So uh, I'll see you guys back in a second when I make a choice on which of these I want to go with. So I looked around and asked some people and it seems nearly everybody's going with last recall. Eternal Jeweler is definitely nice for uh, all the free teleports it gives. But there's probably something in the future I'm not thinking of that Last Recall is going to be super beneficial for. And this basically gives you a crystal that lets you teleport to your last location for free. So if I like teleported to Varrock, um, I could continuously keep teleporting to Varrock for free with a crystal. Uh, so I'm going to choose this one and hope it's the right decision in the future. Um, I guess the only thing I'd really miss out on is a few teleports. Um, so there's a relic unlocked and my XP rates have gone from five times to eight times now. 1500 points away from the last relic. I'm only at 500 right now. I guess I could set my goal to get this by the end of the day. 30 of five fletching. Uh, I just cut one more willow log and make it into a short bow for 50 more points. Uh, so apparently this task, I need a bow string for it too. It's not the unfinished. It's actually the full bow. So I'm just going to bank this and I'll do that in a little bit. Uh, one thing I, I want to do, though, is get this level 50, since that's going to give me a bunch more points. Pretty much 16 times woodcutting XP right now. Uh, the 8 times base rate and the first relic I chose, um, it's it's definitely worth doing. Okay, uh, level 50, woodcutting, 50 more points. Uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is pretty much AFKing, fishing. I'm just going to fish shrimps uh, while I edit my video. I, I need to keep in a habit of doing this every single time I'm editing, just completely AFK fishing. I'll probably eventually do it with Karambwans. Uh, or barb fishing, but uh, I definitely want to make sure I'm doing this. So uh, I'm already level five fishing, already level six fishing. Uh, I have no idea what level this is going to get me, but it's probably going to take me a good 30 to 40 minutes to edit. And also, since I have the tier one relic, I don't have to worry at all about banking these. They just go straight to my bank. Level 50 fishing from editing my video. Literally level one to 50. That's <laughs> crazy. Off shrimps too. And I have all those in my bank now too, which I can use for cooking. Um, I am going to be ending the video here because I want to try to get it out as fast as possible to you guys. Uh, like I said, I am going to be trying to upload a video every single day from this. Um, since this is the first day, depending if I'm too tired or not, I might upload another video later on today. Um, so make sure you guys look out for that before you go to sleep in case I end up doing it. Uh, but I'm really excited for this. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are also looking forward to seeing the videos on it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.